This has been the greatest job I've ever had, the most important one I've ever had, because here is a chance to look at all the terrible things that are going on in the social you around us and deciding that when religion corrupts the issues, when religion corrupts the dialogue, terrible things happen. To me, he's such an important voice because we don't have a lot of people in prominence who will go out there and not just argue for a wall between church and state, but can speak about scripture with compassion and love and do so convincingly in the face of our modern Pharisees. Barry's leadership and Barry as a person represents what the best of faith can bring to the table. He really doesn't just talk the talk, he walks the walk. And I think that's why he's been so effective. He is someone that knows how to strategize and strategize well. And we've seen many of these fights that we've taken on won because he understands the importance of staying with the straight and narrow. One of the great things about Barry, and there are a lot of great things about Barry, he has an ability to, to bring people together from all different factions. He certainly knew the dangers of intermingling religion with the state. And he knew it in a way that was not hostile to religion, but certainly made you see the danger of it if it becomes so intertwined. It was his vision and his drive to say that Americans United, if it's going to take seriously and protect the separation of church and state and the religious freedom for all Americans that that involves, that we needed to be in the courts and we needed to be at the same time educating public officials about their obligations. You have all this different religious and non-religious expression. And Barry has a way of kind of communicating to them all and, and keeping them all involved in this coalition. Often when there is an issue of religious freedom, church-state separation, he goes up to the hill and he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with legislators. And the fact that he is both the Reverend Barry Lynn and the Attorney Barry Lynn has been incredibly helpful. That's who Barry is, someone who can be disarming, incredibly nice, incredibly effective at his work, but there's no need to smash your policy opponents over the head. You're in a position to just beat them with the better arguments. He's a brother. He's a bodhisattva. He's a mahatma. He's a great soul. He earns respect, and he gives respect. I just want to thank Barry Lynn for all of his work. It's been hard work. It's been sometimes thankless work, but it's necessary. And thank you, Barry Lynn, for years of service. I think we've come a long way. I think I've played some small role in making it clearer that this separation of church and state is a doggone solid American principle and that people ought to accept it, and that people ought to recognize that if they hold one religious viewpoint over others, if they hold all religious viewpoints over non-belief, they're corrupting the fundamental democracy that is America. And I'm glad to have played some small role in moving this forward.